Zeti Resume Builder Review and Tutorial Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to review Zeti Resume Builder and show you how to use it. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Zeti, you could also click the link in the description where in a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Zeti, it is a comprehensive online platform that specializes in resume and cover letter creation, aiming to simplify the job application process for users, in which the site features an intuitive resume builder that allows users to select a variety of professionally designed templates and receive tailored content suggestions based on their profiles. And users could also create and customize their resumes and cover letters ensuring they meet the requirements of applicant tracking system which many employers use to filter applications. So now to create an account, just click the link in the description, or you could also click destroy or resume builder button below here. And after that, just click again this button below create my resume, or create your resume now button in here. Upon doing so, it will automatically be directed on this page, and it will ask you how long have you been working, so I'm going to select here, nest entry, and below it will ask you are you a student so i'm going to select no in here and upon clicking on it it will automatically be directed to you on this popular templates that you can choose from in here however as you can see in here some of these templates are offered for free but some of these are offered or you need to have a premium account in order to use those templates you'd also filter or choose the color on the left side panel by selecting any color palette in here that you prefer and even use the filters such as with photo, without photo, and even the columns in here. And after selecting this click choose template button, and it will ask you are you uploading an existing resume, so you can upload your resume or start from scratch. So I'm going to start from scratch and click the next button, and after that, it will show you that the template is now currently applying. So all you need to do is wait for it, and from here, under this heading section, you can start filling out your first name, surname, profession, your city or address, phone number, your email address, and many more. And to change your photo in here, just click this upload photo in this button and upon clicking on it, you can simply select your photo from your computer files. However, you must follow some of these requirements in uploading a photo in here, including the file type, and the formats should be less than 10 MB. So after selecting your photo, it will automatically be reflected in here where you can start cropping it. And after that, just click save button to proceed. Now as you can see, the photo has now been changed in here. You can also be clicking our next to work history and it will show you why do you need a resume. I'm going to choose job seeking and after that, you can also be clicking the next button in here. Now on this page, you also need to tell about your most recent job so you can enter here the job title for your recent job, the name of your employer, the location of your job and also if it is remote. The starting date and date and here now after filling out all of this required information you can now proceed by clicking the next button below here to proceed and after that you will be directed in here and it will show you that it is now currently generating your resume but it will show you some of this recommendation that you can click this add recommendation if you want to and upon clicking on it it will show you that the recommended has now been added in here so it is now currently under job description but you could also add more description depending on your preferences and also some of this given option in here as you can see so basically it will show you in here some of the things that you can do or the services that you can offer in here and as you can see we have here different kind of job description that is given and as you can see we have here added a for recommendation under our job description in resume but you can also add one by clicking on it but you could also make it bold, italic, or underlined depending on your preferences. And now as you can see, here are the summary, in which by clicking on it, it will show us all the details that we just add. And we could also customize it in here. Moving on to education by clicking the next button below here. And again, just click the next button to start adding our educational background. It will ask you what best describe your level of education. I'm going to select, for instance, this bachelor's, and from here, just simply enter the school name, the school location, your degree, the field of the study, your graduation date or expected graduate date in here. In which this kind of background information about your education is really important to add in your resume 
as the employer also see if you study for a kind of position that they are looking for, or if your educational background is in fit or designated the job that they are offered to you. So as you can see, I just enter here the field of study, which is accounting and finance, and I'm going to select here the date that I graduate, for example. And after that, just click the next button, and it will show us the education summary. Moving on to skills, we can now add here the skills by clicking the next button, and it will show you on this pop-up window some of the things that you can add by clicking this add skill. It will show us in here a recommended that has now been added, but you'd also add more given in here depending on your preferences by simply clicking on it. If you're calendar management, social media updating, meeting scheduling, problem solving and many more. And you could also rate your skills by clicking the skills rating on the top right corner where you can start rating your skills in here depending on the star number. In which the higher the star, the higher the expertise you are on the specific skills. And if you're not done, just click the next button and it will show you the summary of all the details that you just had earlier. From here it will show us your job description and many more. So you can even add here the expert recommended context depending on your preferences. So basically from here you don't need to enter here your own background since it offers a templates that you can just start customizing depending on your preferences. Now moving on to extra section you can add here your website, portfolios, profiles, certification if you have one, languages, any other kind of software that you can navigate, accomplishments, additional information, affiliations, and many more. And now by clicking the next button in here, it will show us in here that we can also start clicking the next button in order to proceed. More as you can see by clicking this cut it button. Under this design and formatting, we can now start customizing our design of our resume. It will show us on the left side panel the editing tools, while from here we can start selecting by clicking any kind of elements or part of our resume. We could also change the recommended colors in here by selecting the color palettes that we prefer or customizing the layouts such as to make it two columns or under this visual you can add a headshot or monogram if you want to or even adjust the alignment in here of a picture or images in here. And below it will show you the skill style such as ratings, lists, and bubble, and even choose the font style that you prefer such as normal, large, and aside from that even the font style, the section spacing, paragraph spacing, line spacing, and many more. You'd also select this add section if you want to, or completely select a different kind of templates in here on the left side panel. So basically you can start customizing all of the layout in here, and the design of your resume depending on your preferences. But if you're now done, you can now proceed by clicking the save button or download button on the right side panel and click finish it. However, you firstly need to sign in your account on Google, Facebook, or email address in here in order to download or save this resume that we just customized in here. And after that, you will not be able to download or get the resume that you can use in applying for a job. And also select here the kind of land that you prefer or a subscription in here such as 14 day access or annual access in here. But overall, that is just basically how you can create a resume on Zeti Resume Builder. Thank you.